Thanks for stopping by my channel. Check out this really quick tutorial on how to make candles customized for any family member, friends, holiday, or whatever else you would like it for. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is your girl Tia. Just coming with a quick tutorial on how to do this really cool candle for the holidays. Christmas is about to come and I just wanted to show some really sweet ideas of for one, how to save money, but also make your family smile and feel very special. Um, right here, um, we actually did a picture on both sides of the candle, but you absolutely do not have to do that. We just did that because um, we uh, did a double picture scale on one page just to see um, the size of the picture, whatever the case may be. We didn't want to waste it, so I did a double. But most people just do it on one side, so I'm about to show you guys how to do that. First, you want to start off with, of course, a computer where you can scale out your pictures. And um, for me, I just added these six pictures of certain family members that I wanted to give a special candle to. As you guys see at the bottom, there's a longer picture. The longer pictures are for longer candles like this one right here. And then there is the um, the short pictures at the top, which is two of them, which goes the longer way, which is for a candle about this size. So I will be showing you guys a quick tutorial on how to do them both or maybe one will be explanatory uh, we'll just see where this thing goes so here we go you get yourself a printer paper please make sure you have a printer that is very important and some tissue paper and you just want to scale out um you just want to scale out the tissue paper to your printer paper so that when you put it inside of the printer instead of the pictures going anywhere on your regular paper it goes directly on your tissue paper because you will be waxing your tissue paper to the candle and I'm just going to scale that out and cut right about here so I can lift it up crease it as you guys can see mine is not directly from end to end the reason being is if you look here on my document you can see there's a big gap on the top on the sides as well as the bottom which gives me the opportunity to uh, see where my pictures are going and make sure that they don't bleed off or um, go too far become too big it, it makes an even scheme for me so um, here's my tissue paper you guys could actually take regular transparent tape pull it off and put it on the outside of your picture you just want to make sure that you don't um, put too much to the point that it um, causes your picture to mess up I actually did it on the outside once and I don't know if you can see it but right here it started to bleed because my ink was wet and it smudged on my picture so I was like you know what I have two-sided tape that I could just put under the corner just a tad bit of it and then when I take it off it should be a smooth transition so you don't have to see it it doesn't bother the ink while it's printing everybody's happy if you guys make any mistakes it'll be cool to go back and see with your scale, that's great. That's going to go well. A piece of tape here. And last but not least, a piece of tape here. And the reason why you're doing this is you don't want your tissue paper to lift up while it's printing and start to fly everywhere. You want it to stick as if this is the paper that is in the printer. So, um, I did an example on a previous picture where <clears throat> if you want to see where to put, how to put your paper inside the printer, you can do a test run where you put an X on your paper. You put that paper in the printer. And when it comes out, <clears throat> you will see which side to put your, your, your tissue paper on. So, I know that my paper goes in upside down and it comes in right side up. So when I put this piece of paper in the printer with my tissue paper here, it's gonna go upside down and it's gonna come right side up. So I will be right back with the printed paper. Also, I'm gonna let you guys know that I'm going to do this paper um, black and white.
So when I go to my printing set settings, it's going to go to file print. And I'm not going to print it with color. Go to my properties. I'm going to do it black and white. So all of my pictures are going to come out with a black and white scheme, just like this picture. And it comes out very beautifully. So all right, guys, we'll be right back. Back. So this is the paper from the printer. I'm um, still learning how to hide my tape. I actually did it great at one point before, so it's a learning process. Um, mistakes are fine, but I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys an easy way to cut it. It's good to cut it while it's still on the um, the printer paper, so you don't have to be as delicate. You can just go ahead and chop it up. Just keep going. And then um, after you're finished chopping it up, you can go ahead and get closer as you, as you go. I actually have some nice color pictures from my last printout. So there's some dark ones that I'm going to take out. But um, as far as showing you guys for the tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and do a short one and a long one before I head out. So you want to take as much white as possible off the border so that it doesn't look um look staged, that it doesn't look homemade. You want it to be homemade as far as people loving it, but you want it to be precious as far as them thinking that it's awesome. Because you are awesome and you're going to make this awesomely. So I'm just cutting off any of the white border, even if I had to cut into the picture a bit. I'm not a fan of the white being on the outside because you can just see it. You could see it from on your candle. For your persnickety uh, people you're giving a gift to. Last but not least, this side. Do one big cut. Because there's nothing there but rocks. Something that I found out that was pretty cool while I cleaned my area is that you actually can... um. Put a bit of Mod Podge or glue, whatever type of clear glue that you have that turns transparent when it's dry. Um, you can use a glue stick, which is awesome. Or you could use, um, like I said before, Mod Podge. It's honey. So, here's my Mod Podge. Um, you can use a toothpick. You could use your finger. For me, I'm just going to... Um, Use a hard piece of printer paper, bend it a bit, and use it as somewhat of a of a dab brush. So that has a bit of glue on it, and I'm just going to um, no, I'm going to do my picture like right here. Flip this over, put some on the corners. You just want enough so you don't have to uh, whoosh. If you put too much, you can just scrape it right off. No biggie. Just want to put enough where it comfortably sticks to the picture. So I'm going to go ahead and um, stick this on there. Um, you want to smooth it out, make sure there's no no um no creases no no cracks smooth it out so you can already see the vision of how you want this candle to be and how it's going to turn out which this is an awesome picture of mommy and baby at the beach you may not tell but they know exactly what this memory it is so next i'm going to grab me a piece of parchment paper because this is such a small candle it won't take much for me to have this parchment paper around. You want just enough where it goes it goes around and then there's some for you to grab on. So I'm gonna do I can save a lot of paper by just rolling it back up and taking a scale from it being like this. I think I want to do it that way and just... So you want to cover the most important part. 
which is the front. And you're going to hold that there. And you're going to grab the back. Just like that. You want enough that you can hold on to it. Um, if you want, if you don't have high heat tolerance, this thing does get really hot. You can just grab something like this, stick your hand in it. This is a case for my um, headphones. You can also just um, put on mittens. You could even um, do something as simple as use your, uh, if you have a curling wand and it come with um, a heat gun glove. I mean, a curling wand glove, you can put that on too because it's very heat tolerant. I have a um, heat gun here and I'm just going to start it off on low. It either has low or high, one or two. I'm going to start it off on one. It's pretty hot. Okay. And my candle candle is uh, leaking. It does leak, so if you guys want to put this over something, you absolutely can. I'm just going to um, make sure there's no more hot wax falling and slowly open it. Slowly open it. Oh, we have a problem. If you see that it's not coming off 100%, you want to wait and you want to actually take time to, to glue it more. And you want to slowly keep going. I may have possibly kept my heel on for a little longer, but you just smooth it out. It's all in your control at this point since it's weak and vulnerable. If you guys wanted to add some patterns to it, if you had like a, a pattern paper or if you had... um anything if you have crayons and you actually want to melt your crayons to this some people will put their crayons over hot water and um and put it over this to add color to it if you want to add glitter now would be the time to add it as well with some parchment paper so it's really simple so you can see now how this is stuck to it and it looks just like the candle you wipe it off, you can let it dry for a while, and then later on if you see any smudges or anything that you want to fix, you can simply take a lighter, take some heat, go over it, you can take um, maybe a hot knife, and just like you're melting butter or something, you just go over it and smooth it out. It's all up to you. So people will probably even like the patterns and add fingerprints over it or, or lines. It's all up to you, but it's extremely simple. Now I'm going to show you guys the tall version of this. I'm going to run and get a tall candle. Hey guys, I'm back. So this is um, actually the package that it came in. I bought this too um, in a package of two from Michaels. It was about $7. I think the price is probably on here somewhere. Maybe it's not. But I bought this for about seven bucks. Seven bucks is some change, or at least it was supposed to be that much. And I had a 50% um, off coupon, and I ended up getting it for about three bucks, which is super duper awesome because these can cost up to about five bucks each, depending on where you're going. Um, so I'm just going to wrap this. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it with a long picture. Here I have a picture going to use one of the longer pictures. You just simply cut it out as close as possible. Okay, that's okay for all. I can clean the area later. Um, so like I said with the Mod Podge, you could um, use the same thing you used earlier. It's the front or the back. Okay, this is the back. You can just, you know, go over it a little bit. You just want it to to be a bit tacky when you put it on your candle. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I want to make sure it's straight, or shall I say lined up properly. And you also want to use this time to smooth it out before it dries on there. It's 
So like I said, at this point, you already get an idea of how your candle is going to turn out. It's even fine for you to put some of the, the Mod Podge on top, but you also want to be careful when that comes to um, be putting the wax on. You don't want the, the parchment paper to get stuck to your picture. So I'm going to grab a piece of parchment paper. If you want to avoid the melting and everything, it's best that you keep the gun not so close to your candle. So this is my picture. And they don't have to leave it long either. Once it turns dark, um, you know that there is a fish on top of that picture. You just want a layer of that to um, melt on your picture. So this is it. This is the long way to do the candle. Um, if you want, I know my mom loves zebra, so some people could even um, print out zebra print and go ahead and put that zebra, zebra print all the way around here. Um, or you can put glitter, like I said before, parchment some glitter around here. Or whatever you want, the candle is up to you, but this is an awesome way to give gifts for the holiday. All right, guys, thanks for watching.